how exactly does gravitational lensing work? Is there a way for humans to recreate that effect with our technological means in the future? Or does it just happen at vast galactic scales? So gravitational lensing is the bending of light because of matter. In general relativity, in the four-dimensional fabric of space-time, the uh, force that we perceive as gravity is, a, is, a, is basically the curvature of space-time. And space-time gets curved because of the presence of mass. So when space-time is curved because of mass, then a light beam can't pass straight through space-time. It also becomes curved. So this is one of the predictions of general relativity, that matter bends the path of light. And that is how we basically proved it, that general theory is indeed correct. For example, let me show you an image. So this here is a galaxy. It's an image of a galaxy that has been curved and warped by the presence of mass between us and that galaxy. So this circular thing is called an Einstein ring. It is a single object that has been distorted and warped because the light coming from it has to pass through this mass, central mass, and so it becomes bent. And that's what, that's what causes the distortion in the image. Here's another way of looking at it. It's a black hole passing between us and a galaxy. We are the viewer, there is a galaxy over there, and there's a black hole that comes between us and the galaxy. And that's how it distorts the light coming from the galaxy. So basically this is gravitational lensing. We can observe it at vast galactic scales. We can also observe it during a, a solar eclipse when stars, which are actually physically behind the sun, become visible during a solar eclipse because the light is bent around the sun. So that is gravitational lensing. It is very, it is with the current technology that we have, we can't really produce the effect, but we can see it. There is no technology for gravitational lensing. It's just that mass will bend the path of light. So that's all it is. There is no real technological application of it thus far.